All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to News NFL. Today we're going to be discussing uh, day one of the NFL draft, which was yesterday, and um, a lot has happened. Um, and we're going to be giving overall grades, um, my personal grades, what the internet think the grades are. Like, for example, the Cardinals, who traded their their first round pick for Marquise Brown from the Ravens. Uh, so yeah, um, the intern thinks they got a B plus. Uh, I think they got a, I'd say I'll do it a little bit lower, a B just because, um, Marquise Brown was actually, uh, up 25th overall pick in the draft. That was like a while ago. So technically they didn't really get it evened out. So, and plus they gave up a third rounder. So yeah, overall I give the Cardinals a B and yeah next uh, we'll talk about the Atlanta Falcons they the intern gives them B plus for drafting uh, Drake London in my opinion Garrett Wilson was better than Drake London uh, I don't know I guess it was just personal preference and because of that I do believe personally believe that Garrett Wilson is better than Drake London so I give them a B minus just because I feel like there was a better player on the board for the position of need but they still got uh one hell of a wide receiver so that's why i'm all right with it so yeah b minus uh baltimore ravens a plus really okay so they got uh kyle hamilton safety who's been dropping down in tr value and then they got tyler Lunderbum. i don't know uh, my bad i didn't pronounce that properly so they got a center and a safety safety is a need defense didn't struggle last year due to injuries safe uh so center now uh 14th overall 25th overall 25th overall pick taken from cardinals they trade away marquise brown who else do they have besides marquise brown rashad bateman mark andrews i don't know if it was the right i'm gonna give them an a b plus i know i'm dropping down a lot lower but I don't think it was the smartest move to trade away Marquise Brown because they don't really have much wide receivers. I know they have Mark Andrews, but still, who else do you got? I give it a B plus. So yeah, internet thinks it's A plus. I think it's a B plus. They, I mean, they did get some good picks, to be fair. But I don't think like wide receivers were all off the board. Like they're gonna need a wide receiver in the second round today to like really get uh, Lamar Jackson some help. Besides, uh, Lamar on Twitter is actually really upset about it, so, uh, about Marquise Brown leaving, so yeah. If the quarterback's mad, I don't think it could be an A+, plus, so yeah. Um, moving on, Buffalo Bills, okay, Kyer, Elam, they did need some defense, obviously, Chiefs versus Bills, Patrick Mahomes, beat them in overtime they need a cornerback they need to upgrade that defense offense not really they don't really need help especially they got stefan Dix extended and all that so they did lose cole beasley but i think i'm sure they're fine i'm sure they're gonna draft a wide receiver later in the later rounds but yeah i'll also give this an uh, actually a a minus an a minus i'll give it an a minus they're was like Daxon Hill on the board or whatever. They could have gotten maybe something a bit better, but I don't know. I liked it. It was all right. A minus, in my opinion. Uh, Car Carolina Panthers. They got Ikwam Okadu, offensive tackle. I'll give him an A to be fair, because they need offensive tackle really badly. Offensive tackle is really needed for the Panthers. They need to make sure Christian McCaffrey actually stays healthy. So that's why. I mean, they could have gone Evan Neal, but to be fair, I don't know who's better. It's just, you know, I don't know. And it does state that Ikwa Mikadu is a beast at the run game, so that will definitely help Christian McCaffrey a lot. So, yeah, exactly, as mentioned right here. Uh, I'll give it an A. I'll stay. I'll stick with an A. You know, it will definitely help Christian McCaffrey, which, in my opinion, is the MVP of their team, even though he gets injured a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, Chicago Bears. Uh, zero draft picks. 
They did get Justin Fields last year, and they gave... Uh, I don't know if I'll give him an A. I'll give him a B. Uh, B+. Plus. I'll give him a B+. Plus. I, I know there's no draft picks in the first round, but they did get Justin Fields. I'll give them a B+. Plus. Justin Fields does, some, does have some talent, so we just got to see him execute. So, yeah, I'll give him B+. Plus. Uh, Cincinnati Bengals, Daxon Hill. Now that's a good pick for them. Uh, I'll give him an A plus. I'll give him an A plus. I think Daxon Hill was is was gonna be very good because he's like a DB and like safety. He was like a safety cornerback hybrid type deal, Daxon Hill. And to get that after they lost in the Super Bowl and Eli Apple getting torched by Cooper Cup, they needed some secondary help. Daxon Hill great pick for them a plus in my opinion so yeah cleveland browns getting a c yeah they overpaid for deshaun watson they overpaid not only did they overpay with picks i think in my opinion they also made him the most uh highest paid quarterback i think so yeah uh i give it a c as well it's not a good idea uh c minus i don't know just c minus whatever uh dallas cowboys they got Tyler Smith. Uh, they did get offensive tackle, but I don't know. Was that their most important need? I don't know. I do feel like they needed edge because they lost Randy Gregory. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know much about Dallas Cowboys, but yeah. I'll give them a C minus just because. Tyler Smith, uh,. I don't know. They've been saying Tyler Smith isn't a good pick for them, and he holds a lot. So apparently, they he fits into the penalized Cowboys. So yeah, I don't know. But yeah, um, Denver no picks. They got Russell Wilson. Yeah, Russell Wilson. Yeah, to be fair, Russell Wilson is a really good quarterback. Uh, that trade. I'll give him a A minus. Because I do believe the trade for Russ Wilson was pretty good. But I won't give him an A or higher for not drafting. Even though they got Russ Wilson. So, A-. minus. Now, Detroit. A-. minus. I give them A+, plus, bro. I think they got an A+. Plus. Listen. The Detroit Lions got Aiden Hutchinson and trade up for Jameson Williams. Who is arguably the most... The best wide receiver in the draft, but the only reason he isn't because he tore his ACL. So yeah, but yeah, I give them, I give the Detroit Lions an A plus because Aiden Hutchinson is gonna be great. Jim, Jameson Williams will be great once he comes off injury. And listen, everyone's talking about they got Jared Goff at quarterback. Jameson Williams is not gonna do good. Listen, Malik Willis is still, and I mean still. In like in like Malik Willis wasn't drafted in the first round. Surprisingly, Kenny Pickett went before him. Uh, not surprising to be fair. He's from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Steelers. The connection, I guess. Small hands, Kenny Pickett. You know, but Malik Willis is still there, so they can definitely get Malik Willis if they want, or just wait another year, which they could obviously do again. So Detroit's in a good spot in my opinion. So I give them an A plus. Um, now the Packers. My favorite team. Uh, it gives them an A. Okay, I give them an a B plus. Now, even though they are my favorite team, I'm not biased. I do believe uh, that they could have gotten better talent instead of Quay Walker. Like, there was Jermaine Johnson still on the board available to us, and we did need edge. But I'm not mad with Quay Walker. He can also play edge a bit, so yeah. And Devontae Wyatt, I do like that pick better than Quay Walker at 22, uh, even though he's a little bit older. And they do both come from Georgia, so they both know each other really well on defense. So their connection would be really good. And yeah, I give them a B plus. It could increase, who knows? But yeah, B plus for Packers. Um, now Houston, Texas. Uh, they got Derek Stingley Jr. and Kenyon Green. Now, I believe Derek Stingley at number three was a bit too early, in my opinion. I feel like he, he was—he could have, like, I think—I still believe Sauce Gardner would have went 
uh, would have won, be, uh, would have been the first one off. But I don't know. Derek Stingley went off first. Like I believe Sauce Garner is the best corner in the draft, and the fact that they passed, uh, they passed out on Sauce Garner for Derek Stingley was a bit meh. Kenyon Green is a great offensive line, though. He can move anywhere on the offensive line except center. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I give them a, a, a B minus. Yeah, B minus. That works. Now, the Colts, uh, they gave him a D for no draft picks. They gave up their first round pick for the Philadelphia for Carson. Ooh, they gave up their first round pick for Carson Wentz. I didn't know that. A car they traded for Carson. Well, that's obviously bad because they just traded Carson Wentz for less. I think. I know they didn't trade a first round. They didn't get a first round pick for Carson Wentz, obviously, because they didn't draft uh, yesterday. So yeah, I yeah I give them a uh yeah in my opinion I give them a D minus. Yeah, that's awful for the Colts. Obviously, the Colts have Matt Ryan, so. You got that veteran experience, but still, you trade a first-round pick for Carson Wentz, and then next year you immediately trade him away for even less. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's a D minus. <sighs> uh, Jacksonville Jaguars B plus for getting uh, Trayvon Walker number one overall. I did believe he was gonna go first, even though I thought Aiden Hutchinson was the better player. I don't know. I, I, I think people believe that Trayvon Walker was a better fit uh, than, to for Jacksonville than Aiden Hutchinson. I would have preferred Aiden Hutchinson. So, but Trayvon Walker is still good. You know, you can't really go that wrong when you have the number one overall pick. And then Devin Lloyd, yeah, maybe the best linebacker in the first round. Maybe better. I don't know if he's. I think he's better than Quay Walker. I don't know about Nakobe Dean and Nakobe Keen. I do believe. Okay, I don't. Okay, I believe it's Devin Lloyd, Quay Walker, and then Nakobe Dean for linebackers. So yeah. Um, but who knows? Maybe it could change. Nakobe Dean may be the best, or Quay Walker. Who knows? Could be Devin Lloyd. But yeah, I'll give them a B. I'll give them a B. I think the, it was a good draft for them. Could have got Aiden Hutchinson instead, but I'll give him a B because you couldn't really go wrong with the first overall pick, and Devin Lloyd was a pretty good pickup. Now the Chiefs, well, they don't have a wide receiver one, I guess, but they're kind of like the Packers situation where they need a wide receiver, except they are in a better situation because even though losing Tyreek Hill, they got Juju Smith-Juster. They have Travis Kelsey already. And they got Marquez Valdez Scandling, so they're not as a they're not a, they're not in a tough situation like the Packers, and they focused on defense because they did lose, what's his name, Honey Badger, who was still in the free agency. I'm surprised, but yeah, they got cornerback Trent McDuffie, which I thought was really good for them. Trent McDuffie was a really good pick for them. And then Edge, George Kalaktis, also a really good pick. So, honestly, I agree with the A. Chiefs did great. Chiefs did great. So, yeah, A for them. Um, Las Vegas Raiders, they traded for Devontae Adams. Uh, they give him an A. Just because I'm a little salty as a Packers fan, I'll give him an A-. minus. But, uh, yeah, I would say... The trade was good for them, so I'll give an A minus. Still didn't have a draft pick, but who knows? I don't know. A minus for them. Uh, Zion Johnson, good pickup for them. Offensive line to protect Justin Hubert, and Los Angeles Chargers are gonna be good this year. They got Khalil Mack. They got uh, their defense is gonna be really good. They got J C Jackson. So yeah, I give them uh, an A minus as well. So yeah. I think they're going to thrive this year. Uh, Los Angeles Rams, they trade for Matthew Stafford, and they did get a ring. So, yes, I'll give them an A+, plus because Matthew Stafford led them to a Super Bowl. So, I can't complain about that. A-plus for them. Miami Dolphins, no picks. They traded up for Jalen Waddle last year, and they packaged with four other picks. So yeah, I think the Dolphins also are going to be good because of – well, to be fair – 
Tua's gonna hold them down a bit. Like if they put if they got it like Tom Brady for example, there were some rumors he would go there, then they would have been elite. Even they still have Tua, but they have Jalen Waddle and Tyree Kill, the Cheetah and the Penguin. Got Teron Armstead. I think it's a B as well. I think they're all right. B. Minnesota Vikings. Now they traded down a lot. I don't think it was that good as people think it is. They did get safety help like they needed. Lewis Klein, Lewis Kine, at the last pick of the draft, traded down. Uh, with and as the Lions traded up, you know. So yeah. Uh, I would give them. Uh, B plus. I'll give them a B plus. I think the trade down was a bit uh, wacky because um, Kyle Hamilton was there. I mean, I don't know. They didn't get as much value in the trade with the Lions as I thought they would. So yeah, B plus because they still got Lewis Kine. So I'm not. They shouldn't be complaining that much. So yeah, B plus. Now Patriots. Yeah, Cole Strange. Weird pick. There's better offensive line in the draft, I think, left in the board. And I also think, like, there was bigger needs. Like, linebacker Nakobe Dean was there. So, I don't know what they're doing with Cole Strange. I give them a D. So, yeah. Yeah, they gave him a D. I give him a D. So, yeah, Cole Strange is a bit of a weird one, I'll admit. Now, New Orleans Saints, they traded up to get Chris Olave. Bit annoyed about that. Wide receivers went fast. Um, Chris Olave, do really like him. Trading up for number 11, though, was a bit questionable. But I guess it was like wide receivers were really going then. So it wasn't that bad. I'll give him a... They gave him a C. They got Trevor Penning as well. I don't think they got a C. I think they got a B minus uh, in my opinion. I think they had a better draft than people think. So yeah, B minus. Um, and then New York Giants. Uh, the Giants did what they needed to do and draft help for Daniel Jones for Evan Neal, and they helped that defense, that edge rusher Kayvon Thibodeau. Giants. They get an A minus. Uh, no, not A minus. I'll give them an A. I'll give them an A because um. No, never mind. What am I saying? A minus A? No, A plus. A plus. Giants deserve A plus. They got Kayvon Thibodeau number five. Good pick. They got Evan Neal at number seven. Another good pick. A plus for the Giants. They drafted their needs, which is good. A plus for them. Um, New York Jets, A plus, A plus plus plus, A plus 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 plus. Like the New York Jets, the fact they were able to get Sauce Garner at number four, the best corner in the draft, in my opinion. Garrett Wilson, the best wide receiver in the draft, in my opinion. Jermaine Johnson. In my opinion, a top 10 player in the draft that fell all the way down there. And I was so mad when the Packers didn't draft him. The Jets was like, yep, let's go get him. And they did. And they deserve an A++ for this draft. Because, damn, this was an amazing draft for them. Zach Wilson is getting help. That defense is getting help. Yeah, A++ for the Jets. Well done. Perfect draft. A++. Um, but anyway, let's move on to the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, they got Jordan Davis. 13 overall. Good pick. I do like it. It was a good pick. Now, they also traded to get A.J. Brown f with their 18th overall pick. Who, in my opinion, isn't worth $100 million if you look down here. They got him a four-year extension for $100 million, $57 million guaranteed. A bit too much money, in my opinion, for A.J. Brown, but wide receivers are now getting real expensive. So, yeah. Um, I'll give him an A-. minus. Everything was good. Just the A.J. Brown contract was a bit big, but that's really it. So, I'll give him an A-. minus for the Philadelphia Eagles. Jordan Davis was a great pickup from them. 
Pittsburgh Eagles. Uh, Kenny Pickett instead of Malik Willis. A bit questionable for getting Kenny Pickett over Malik Willis because Malik Willis was projected to be the best quarterback of the draft, and they got Kenny Pickett instead. Uh, I'll give him a B plus for that one. Uh, San Francisco 49ers, they got no picks because they trade off for Trey Lance. Who Trey Lance, we can't really say anything about Trey Lance because we haven't seen him play much at all. He hasn't played, like, at all. So, I'm fine to leave it at C. I'll give him a C plus because we really don't know what Trey Lance is about. So, C plus for them. Don't know if the trade-up was worth it for Trey Lance. So, yeah. Seattle Seahawks, they got Charles Cross at number 9. Now, they did trade away Russell Wilson, which was a weird idea, pretty bad idea. But they got Char <laughs> They basically laughed in Russell Wilson's face. Finally got an offensive tackle right when Russell Wilson left. So, weird to finally address the situation now when you don't have Russell Wilson at quarterback. But, yeah. I'll give him a B minus because Charles Cross is still good. So B minus for them. Even though they trade away Russell Wilson. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they traded out their pick for the first overall pick in the second round. So they give him an A. Yeah, I give him an A minus. It depends what they I mean they have good talent in my opinion. Um for the first pick of the second round. So, yeah, I give him an A-, minus, sure. I'm going to try and speed this thing. Uh, <clears throat> my bad. I'm going to try and speed this up because um, cause this is a long video. Uh, but anyway, Tennessee Titans, A- minus for Traylon Burks. Wanted to trade away A.J. Brown because he was demanding tons of money. Got Traylon Burks on his rookie contract for four years. I like it because Traylon Burks is good. So... Yeah, and they also got Robert Woods. I forgot about that. So, yeah, I'll give them a uh, A minus as well. I think they did pretty, pretty all right. Commanders, Jahan Dotson. Now, I don't know why they got Jahan Dotson over Traylon Burks. Is I believe Traylon Burks is better than Jahan Dotson. So I give them a B minus because they didn't move down five spots, which was all right, but. Getting Jahan Donson over Traylon Burks, yeah, I don't know. B minus for them. And yeah, that's really it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe and let me know what uh, about how your team drafted. If you enjoyed it, if you liked it, I like the draft a lot. It was entertaining. And uh, and yeah, that's really it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.